Science is real from the Big Bang to DNA. Our next step is to figure out our overall equation. But to do that, we've got to get rid of those electrons. I mean, have you ever seen a reaction equation that included electrons? No, because they don't really belong there. So first thing we have to do is get rid of them. Now what we're going to do is add these two reactions together to make our overall reaction. But when we add them together, they'll be balanced. But to do that properly, we've got to make sure the electrons are balanced as well. I mean, this gained six electrons. Where did it get them from? Well, it's supposed to have got them from this nitrogen. Well, according to this half reaction, that nitrogen only gave up two electrons. So they're not balanced yet. So we need to balance those first, then we can add it all together. So I see that this is six and this is two. Well, I can make this a six if I multiply this equation by three. So let's do that. I will end up with three water molecules, three nitrous acid molecules, six electrons, three nitrates, and nine. Okay, great, there I go. So now if I add these things together, things are gonna cancel. I mean, if I have six electrons on the reactant side and six electrons on the product side, it's sort of like a spectator, didn't really do anything. So we'll get rid of it. But we're gonna do all that scratching out before we actually write our final equation, just to make it easier. So let's simplify. That's going to cancel completely. Bye-bye electrons, you just don't belong here. Now let's look at our hydrogens. I have 14 hydrogens over here. Over there I have nine. Well, that means that five of those hydrogens are doing nothing. So let's get rid of them. Now let's see what's left. Water. I've got three water molecules here, seven water molecules there. Well, again, goodbye to those three. Change that to a four. Looks like everything else is in order. Let's go ahead and write the final equation. So there I go. And I'm done, right? Not quite. Don't forget about our last official step double check. I can't emphasize this enough. There are lots of places for mistakes along the way. Take a few seconds to double check at the end to make sure you've balanced it correctly. Let's start with our atoms. You've got five hydrogens here and three hydrogens here. That's eight hydrogens. Over there we have four times two from the water. That's going to be eight hydrogens. Good. Next we've got two chromiums here and two chromiums there. Good to go. Oxygen. We've got seven oxygens from the dichromate. We've got another six from these three nitrous acids. So that's 13 oxygens on this side, and that's going to be four plus nine, which will be 13 oxygens on that side. Finally, we have our nitrogens. Three nitrogens here, three nitrogens from that nitrate. Our atoms are balanced. Now let's look at our charge. Here I have five plus ones, so that's positive five. Here I have a negative two from that dichromate, minus two. Over here, nothing plus zero. Overall, that's going to be a positive three. Fingers crossed. The other side positive three as well? Let's see. Over there I have a positive three times two, which gives me a positive six. Water contributes nothing. Looking at that negative three over there from three nitrates, zero minus three. <laughs> Fabulous. Our atoms are balanced. Our charges are balanced. We have just completed our first balanced redox reaction in acidic solution. As you can see, balancing a redox reaction really isn't that tough. With all those steps, though, it's easy to make a little mistake here or there, so keep that in mind. Fortunately, not every redox reaction requires all of those steps. The reaction that I just balanced was actually something that took place in an acidic solution. When we get back to class, 
we'll take some time to practice balancing redox reactions in acidic solutions. Then, we'll move on from there by applying that information to a basic solution. I'll be ready for your questions. See you in class. Science is real. From anatomy to GI.